Hello YouTube, Blue Matona here, and welcome to episode number 12 of this Let's Play Total War Three Kingdoms as Gong Du campaign. Uh, where we left off last time, well, I named the video Stabilizing the South, because I felt like I had a much stronger footing down here in this region, you know, uh, Dong Pei Shan and I had a very favorable peace deal that I liked, and even though, you know, Zheng Jian over here, we were at war with... Um, we have armies right on her doorstep, uh, she won't be able to fend us off, we'll, we'll take a couple provinces from her, and then, you know, probably just take this commandery of, uh, Zhihi, which is a fishing port and the city, and then just immediately, um, try to sue for peace for her after we do that. Uh, I realized, though, that I misnamed that last video, because I actually have the map oriented, uh, this way, I've always had it oriented this way in this campaign, but this is actually the north-south. Um, so I was actually stabilizing the uh, the east, my eastern border. Uh, my southern border has been stable for quite some time. So uh, a bit of a misnamed video, a uh, mislabeled video, but you know what? It's, it's at that. We got, we got the picture, right? Um, Steffens, by the way, hey, I, I hope you enjoy the, uh, <laughs> what's it called? Uh, you know, the back um, background noise, you know, for an hour. I hope you, hope you enjoy it. Uh, yeah, it's, I love this game. I really enjoy this game. I, I have a fun time in the campaigns. It's the only game I play that really has the single entity, um, units in it. Like, you know, a general's unit that's just one guy. Um, but I do think it's actually a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, so it's a good time. I, I haven't played any of the other ones that have single entity units. So, why don't we go ahead and jump back in? So, over here, yeah, we are, yeah, just, it feels so much more natural in this region to be facing this direction. But, um, we have the city under siege with our general's army, led by Gongdu. And even though we are only about two minutes into this video, whoa, a little burp there for a second. Uh, even though we're only about two minutes into this video, I say we just go ahead and let's take the city. Because there's no reason, although it says close victory, the city can hold out for two turns... Um, before supplies start depleting. I don't know why it's only a close... Oh, you know what? I should let the... I actually need to... Yeah, I need to let the Siege Tower build. Right. Right, right, right. So Siege Tower, um, you are building for a turn. This army is out of movement points, so you're positioned in and ding. We're going to probably go to try to knock out Zhen, Zheng... Zheng... Zheng Jian next turn. Um, she has a very good weapon, the Red Sisters. Um... That is about 2.5k damage uh, with a 24 attack rate. Really, really good. Really good armor. Um, do you do wedge formation? Yeah, does she have a, like, a lot of traits? I mean, this is someone that if I can like get her into my um, faction, I would love that. But I think realistically she'll never join. <coughs> oh. So this side, of, this side of the fight is actually um, going to be... Yeah, we have to put that on pause for one turn as we... Wait for that. And this force here, I think, will be enough to go and take her out. Um, she's in my territory. She's not getting replenishment. She is in raiding stance. Um, and then we also have An Ding here. Uh, the uh, Gao Nu spot. Anyway, this has a additional seven units of garrison forces. So, uh, Finally, we have our other force down here. Um, this force is now a little bit superfluous. I don't really need it. Uh, you know, we have Peace with Tong Fei Shan. All she has is this pass. Um, I don't really want to go to war with Liu Bao, Yan Shu, any of these guys, Gong Sung, Xia, Shu Xiang. I don't really want to go to war with these powers in this region. I would like to maybe actually expand more in this region. So why don't we uh, get this force, and we can start going and picking off some of these uh, Han Empire provinces. I know that was recommended to me in one of my comments, uh, one of the comments on my last video. Um, we got a weapons craftsman, a lumberyard, uh... Yeah, where's the settlement? It must be this right here. It looks like there's a, on the map, you can see there's a settlement right here. Um, why don't we get our army... Yeah, we can get our army moving this direction. Um, yeah, it's going to take a minute. Um, but let's, let's, start, let's at least start moving in the right direction. And I'm not going to put them in Force March just yet, because I do want a little bit of replenishment that we'll get from that. And then if we did want to bring in a third general, we could... Um, I believe I was thinking of bringing in Tan Yu, if I remember right from last video, because he is the other type of general that this army doesn't have, and he gets along well um, with both of them. Tan Yu is currently on assignment in Jingzhou. One more turn. Surplus markets. 
Um, yeah, maybe we actually, maybe we move this force. Don't I have somewhere that gives me... I should have thought about this before I moved them. I have somewhere, I think Wudu, it gives me uh, a bonus to... Oh, that's plus 20% replenishment. Where's the settlement that gives me the starting rank for recruits? Or was that a... Uh, oh, you know what? That was actually an assignment, the starting rank for recruits. So, no. Wudu just gives me the super fast replenishment, which isn't fully necessary. Um, I'm not, you know, too worried about that. Like, I think I can take this army to move them, like, here next turn uh, and pull in, or in, in pull in Tanyu. Um, it's going to take a few turns to make it through here anyway. So we can, we can pull them into the force, and then we can have a three general army. Um, advancing in that direction, which is nice. So our armies are in a pretty decent position. I would, I do need a new, I need new people, but no one's coming as candidates for my court. Um, missions, yeah, we got to build the encampment for it. We get eight thousand for that. We're close to doing so. Um, here, it's the next level, but we need this reform um, to do so, and we have one more turn in our current reform. Uh, local governance. So that's actually going to be done in a second, which is great. And then, yeah, we'll actually get a new character once we reach the faction rank of Empowered, which should be pretty soon, because I only need another 16 for that. And the reform I'm researching right now gives me 20. So yeah, next turn I'll hit that, and I'll actually get a new character. So that's perfect. Okay. I like that. Uh, financially, yeah, we can't do anything with the buildings. Let's just go ahead and ring in next turn and get it moving. Alright, so let's see what she does. Zhang, Zhang Jian. She looks like she went to an ambush dance near Anding. Okay, that's fine. Not too concerned about that. Alright, Gonsung, Shiksan, and Liu Bao are at peace. Uh, requested Liu Bei join their war against Dong Pei Shan. Oh, she's screwed. All she has is that pass left. Uh, Han Empire. I'm surprised the Han Empire wasn't at war with someone. Han Empire declared war on them. Yeah, that makes sense. Han Empire's at war with everyone. Peace, treaty, a lot of stuff that doesn't really uh, affect me, but we are now empowered. Okay. Um, sweet. We'll see Yeah, we'll see what that gives us. Mission reached. We got Gong Du got a lot of uh, experience, and we gained a new character. Mission issue. Get to Ascended. Yep, that's just the next level. That makes sense. Oh my god, so many. Uh, mission issued. Through study of the material and the divine, we achieve greater heights. Research the following reforms. Rally noble sympathizers. And we get Book of the People, which is 3k population vote, growth to local county, 8 satisfaction, and courage, authority, and cunning. Oh my god, another one. Um, own 8, entirety of 8 commanderies, currently 9, so we got that. Oh yeah, look at that. We have 15k gold now. We actually achieved that one right away. Sweet. We got the 12k from that. Um, faction developments, local governance. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a lot. Um, woo. Okay, so quick look through here, just as a recap. We need to do the encampment fort still. We need to get to Ascended. And we need to rally noble sympathize. Oh, we unlocked the next level of reforms. Sweet. I mean, I do really want to do this one for that building specifically, but we also definitely need to look through those. So we'll deal with reforms in a second. Um, first and foremost, let's take a look at our armies. What, let's just say there's army action points. Okay, yeah. Who's our new character? S okay, Quan or Swan? Probably Quan. Siwan, something like that. Uh, Shu Ting. She is a healer. And is actually a legendary healer. Um... Okay, she gets plus 3% replenishment faction-wide if this character is a Lord of Virtue or faction leader. Um, relentless, kind, okay, and charitable. Oh, I don't like minus four food production. That's really bad. Okay, so she's not going to be a Lord of Virtue or Faction Leader. Sorry, no way. Not with, uh, minus four food production. Skills, we got, uh, a 3.8k splash damage, uh, attack, as well as tranquility. Um, 3% income from Peasantry Faction Wide. Okay. We can give her some, let's just give her some, like, basic followers right now. Just, like, uh, maybe we'll give her this for administered commandery because she might, uh, she might, we might just use her as an administrator. Um, satisfaction and authority. None of these are for, oh, administered commandery plus 10k income from peasantry. Yeah, we'll just, I guess we can just give her that one as well. Okay, 
that'll help with her happiness a little bit, as well as, uh, you know, we'll use her for, as an administrator. Um, can I recruit Tenyu this turn, or is it, is it next turn? Because he's... No, he's not available yet. He is returning um, returning from his assignment. Yes, one turn. But we can actually send her on a uh, immediate assignment. Oh, right, because that reform gave us an additional assignment, right? Uh, plus two administrator positions. Sweet. What was that? Whoops, wrong button. Oh my god. There we go. Yeah, we get the local leaders also. We could actually have four of them. Okay, that's that's big. That's really big. Um, let's first think about an assignment. We can do stimulate markets, employee volunteers, or uh, attract talent. Um, all recruits in local commandery. I mean, maybe I just, since I'm about to recruit in some more people down here in the... Uh, um, Tong, or sorry, uh, Luo Yang area. Maybe I just send her briefly. Oh, I can't send her on that assignment here. I can send her on an insight. Uh, why? Huh. Oh, because I don't own the city. I bet you that's why, because I don't own the city. Okay, that's fine. So why don't we think about where might be the best to use her currently? Um, stimulate mar markets. Uh, income from commerce, silk and spice is always nice. Uh, she was in Wudu doing that, so maybe we just send this new woman into Wudu. Um, because we do have a lot of, uh, we got some commerce, but a good amount of silk income here. Yeah, you can, you can't, I, I don't understand, why can't you, you can only employ volunteers or attract talent here? I, I don't understand why what you can do changes. Maybe it's because she's not back yet. Um, alright, what other cities, uh, have a lot of income from commerce, silk, and spice? Uh, silk here, we got uh, Han Zhang, has a lot of silk income and a little bit of commerce. A little bit of commerce. A lot of commerce uh, here in Jin Chang. Maybe we just do it in Jin Chang. Um, yeah, why don't we just send you in Jin Chang? Go ahead. Start an assignment there. Fei Bei Xiao, yeah, she's doing this in Anding for the food bonus. Um, okay, so why don't we take a look at local leaders? And so what is this? Minus six satisfaction change for post. That's kind of interesting. Position effects, plus one available armies, plus 15% income from all sources in the administered commandery, and minus 30% corruption in the administered commandery. Um, local leaders effects, so from him specifically, he gets income, an additional income from all sources. Okay. But these are... You know, he's a general, so he's not going to be an administrator. Um, the other guy... Who, who, who else did it give me the option to? Zhu Zhang? See, he's employed as a as a garrison general as well. What's well, a garrison general? Is it because he's in this army? Yeah, well, he's not going to be garrisoned forever. He's just there right now. Um, I would love to have just like a... Why, why can't I give any of these characters? Okay, because they're on assignment. So characters on assignments can't be a local leader. It's kind of interesting. I don't know if I like local leader that much. Like, how can, how can you, you know, achieve these bonuses for administered commandery? Oh. Oh, I see. I bet I can, I can assign him a commandery. So I need a commandery where income from all sources, minus 30% corruption, income from all sources, income, maybe a heavy industry commandery would be really, really nice. So then it also gives minus 28% construction costs. So what commandery is the heaviest in industry? It's, I mean, it's probably... Uh, this one has thir 350 industry income. I mean, it's got to be Wudu, right? 810 industry income. Yeah, so if I take him, confirm. Yeah, now I can uh, deploy him where I think is worth it. So I want to deploy him to Wudu. If I deploy him to Wudu, we should be making a lot more money there. So let let's actually, before I do that, I want to see what the difference is. So we'll, we'll be getting an additional 15% income from all sources, an additional, additional 25% income from all sources, Minus 30% corruption, and plus 15 income from industry. So if I look at Wudu right now, we um, we have two, minus 26% corruption. Uh, and we have 1.4k from industry. Um, for about one, yeah, 1426 total. So let's see. When I do this for him, confirm, and I choose Wudu. Confirm. All right. He is in place. So now, if I look at Wudu... I'm only making 200, so we're only still making 1.4k from industry, but the corruption did go down, but it didn't go down 30%. Oh. 
Um, but we're making more money. I mean, we got another 200, but I just don't really understand, like, you know, why... Like, it said he would get a lot more income, you know, income from all sources, as well as specifically him giving uh, industry income. But it didn't, didn't seem to, uh, you know, make too huge of a difference. Why don't we also look at... Alright, so he's in place in there. Um, why don't we look at where else maybe just an income from all sources boost would be nice, like... Maybe here in Jincheng, maybe here in Hidong, some, you know, high value commanderies. Um, Jincheng probably, I think, would be the best one. I like Jincheng a lot. So we can add him as a local leader. Zhuzhong, confirm. You can go to Jincheng, where we're making 850 currently. And after confirming that, how much are we making in Jincheng now? We are making 961. All right, so that did increase. Yep, corruption went down. And, okay, cool. So we just are going to assign the four to our like most valuable commanderies, basically. Um, but we only have two to do that right now. We need more. Uh, we need more candidates. We need to pull some people into our faction. Um, we also have 15k uh, finances. So um, first and foremost, yeah, we can get this army continuing this march. Um, and maybe we can just uh, just go ahead and attack. I, I don't know if I just want to like walk into the ambush, but I know she's like right here, and I could just I could fight. And I'll have the city garrison on my side, but I don't want to walk into an ambush. So let's maybe do this fight first. Let's take out our settlement here. Um, I do believe we should win this. I mean, it, we could also just build, you know, an additional tower and wait another turn for supplies to deplete. You know, we're not in a rush. We're not in a rush with that army. Maybe this army can just guard Amdang again for the time being. Um, yeah, we have a lot of money to spend. So the question is, what do we want to spend it on? Uh, Reforms-wise. Okay, we got a whole new level of reforms. So first and foremost, they all give 25 enlightenment. Okay. Up here, we got just a um, Loxy unit, medium sword infantry, scholar warriors. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, 40% income from industry bonus. That's going to be a lot of money for me. We got minus 50% character salary and plus two public order in all commanderies. Unlocks assignment and courage, humility, increases satisfaction, and greatly reduces corruption for scholars, okay? As well as uh, we got morale, satisfaction, uh, minus three construction time for some specific buildings. All right, so that's the top section here. We get another unit. This is a medium halberd infantry. We got uh, plus 25% trade influence. 40% uh, income from commerce and plus two trade agreements. Encourage compassion, reduces local recruitment costs and upkeep, and increases morale when defending for healers. Enables smoke screen. What is smoke screen? Uh, I don't know. Um, okay, and plus 10% replenishment. Uh, minus three construction time for some other specific buildings and some more pre battle deployable stuff. All right, we got another unit. This is a heavy axe cavalry. They look really good with a 60% range block chance. And, uh, yeah, okay. Income from peasantry bonus. 10% um, ammunition for all units. Reserve capacity, military supplies. Uh, encourage frugality. Increases income from commerce and industry. Um, for veterans, minus 10% retinue upkeep. I mean, that alone is really, really nice. This is the one, right, that it wants us to research. Um, what does it want us to research? This one. Ugh, 12 turns just for a unit of cavalry. I don't know, I'm, I'm more, I'm almost more interested in doing this for 5 turns. Let's just get that out of the way. Okay. Uh, yeah, a lot of money to spend. I mean, we're definitely gonna spend, you know, if you wanna save some to recruit in a, a new, another force there. Maybe, could we do any replacements for the force we have? I mean, we, these are good archers, so I'm not gonna get rid of these. Uh, we got three archers units, you know, light, two light swords, that cavalry, that cavalry. I mean, like, this unit, yellow turban spearmen's good. Stalwart shields, heavy sword infantry, light sword infantry. I just feel like these guys maybe aren't the best, this light sword. Why don't we disband that unit? Are you sure you want to disband these troops? Confirm. And then let's recruit in um, another unit of, of infantry here. Uh, that's, yeah, I mean, I might just do another unit of the Spears. I like the Spears with an 80% range block chance a lot. Like, I really like that unit. So let's, let's pull them in. 
Uh, what about our force up here? Anyone we want to replace? Uh, we're in enemy territory, so we probably shouldn't do that. And this horse is is fine. Um, okay, yeah, we should probably focus on buildings. It's been a while since we've done some buildings in some of these commanderies. So Wudu has one turn left on its uh, right. It's upgrading this for even more income. Wudu is just going to be a powerhouse of income. Jin Cheng. Uh, Jin Cheng, we could upgrade um, the Silk Road Caravan Post for more uh, income from Silk. Um, we could also upgrade the city. I don't really have the food to do that right now. Now, why don't we get the Silk Road Caravan Post going? I think that'll be good. Um, and Ding, anything we can upgrade? Yeah, because this is like my main farming center, so I would love to keep the food production going. Uh, we could do, yeah, one turn for two more food. Let's do that. Absolutely. Um, okay, I'm just kind of scrolling around. Hidong. What do we want to upgrade here? You are making me a ton of money, industry and commerce. Uh, we could upgrade your city to the level that just gives it minus two food production. You know, that, that could actually be pretty smart. Um, we could also upgrade the iron mine here. and We have two paths we can go down. So we have our path that just gives another 100 income from industry uh, down, this, um, down this chain for each level. Or this one that gives... 50, but gives additional military supplies to local armies. I think definitely we would want to just go down the financial uh, the financial route. It is an expensive 7 turns, 4,800. That's very expensive. Um, that's really expensive. Coastal Trading Village. Uh, we could up as well for more commerce income. Um, yeah, I think maybe, I think it's important. Let's get this to small city. We need to unlock that third building slot. Get the small city stuff going. Jingzhou. All right, Jing Zhao. Um, you are also a heavy money maker, mostly commerce, but also a lot of industry. Uh, yeah, you have your jade craftsmen, right? That give commerce and industry income. Then you have this building that gives some commerce income as well as public order and satisfaction faction wide. Maybe we upgrade that again. We could also no, we're not going to do the next level though. Yeah, we'll upgrade that. Okay, don't need to worry about the passes. So all my actually owns commanderies, except for the passes, are upgraded right now, which is awesome. Uh, what about commanderies I don't own the whole thing? Like we have Baxi over here, where we just have the uh, just have the tool forge. I mean, we could upgrade that to the next level, uh, get another two hundred, another hundred income from industry. Luo Yang, you know, we only have the coastal trading port. We'll just leave that how it is. Shu Feng, um, we just have the salt mine. That's where the looters are. Uh, salt, yeah, the salt area, salt mine, so yeah, we're not going to upgrade any of those. Um, maybe Baxi, and then we'll save. We'll do the Baxi upgrade, and then we'll save the rest of our money, um, for next turn when we want to, you know, fill in a whole, fill out this army here, um, with a whole, you know, unit roster with an additional guy. Um, so I think that is pretty good. Yeah, we got three, yeah, two coming back and one going on assignment. Um, yeah, I mean, I know we have an open slot, we just don't have anyone to fill it currently, so uh, nothing we can really do about that, huh? Um, all right, and we can now do, I believe we can do trade agreements. Yes, we do have the ability to do a trade agreement. Let's look if anyone's open to it. Um, Liu Yan and Yan, Yuan Shu. Yuan Shu is more powerful than Liu Yan. Um, and he, he is at war with seven countries. He has trade agreements with some people, and he has alliances with Cao Cao and Yubao. Those are some pretty powerful countries. I mean, let's see if I get in a negotiation with him. Our patience is it would be trade value would be 461. And if I were to do it with Liu Yan, do we have trade to... value would be 510. So it would be more, but he's minus 12. So I'm going to have to give way more to, to get it. So no, we'll just go ahead and do it with the guy who basically wants to trade with me, like he's right on the border. To... And... Um, you know, we can, uh, we can make a payment, maybe a, uh, offer food. No, maybe just like one food per turn. And then can we request regular payments? No, you don't want to do that. What about request a straight up payment? No, that's not worth it. Okay. What about if we just actually made regular payments? You know, what, 60 a turn? I mean, 50, how low can I get it? 59, 58, 57, still going. 56, still going. There we go. All right, 56. 
So 560 gold over the course of 10 turns for a trade agreement that's going to give me 460 a turn. That's definitely worth it. Uh, let's actually take a look really quickly. Does he have any ancillaries that are good? That's not that. That's not amazing. Yeah, okay. Um, boom. Deal signs, trade sign. agreement with Yan Shu. Uh, perfect. Uh, I'm very, very happy that Zheng Jiang wants peace badly. Um, Speak quickly. Really, really badly. Because uh, of the current positioning. But no, I want her city first. Um, I already have it under siege. You know, I'm going to take it. Why would I go to peace with her? So now we're making over 2,000. Yeah, that 461 from trade is nice. And I will say, this does kind of make me want to research. There was the one that gave the two additional trade agreements here. 40% um, income from commerce and two additional trade agreements. But maybe that's more down the road once we have more potential trade partners. Um, we don't really have a lot uh, for the time being. Um, ascended, we need 600 and we were at 348. So it's going to be a bit of a stretch to get there. Uh, empowered also gave us uh, yellow turban factions, additional replenishment, local leader positions... Okay, and then Ascended will give us um, Han factions will proclaim, three Han factions will proclaim themselves emperor, take control of the capitals of these pretenders to unite China, accumulate enlightenment by researching reforms, yeah, I know that, armies provided eight, assignment slots provided five, local, uh, plus three available local leader positions, um, and some recruitment costs for captain retinues, minus 10% corruption, and all commanders, yeah, we'll get there eventually. We will get there eventually. All right, let's move on to the next turn here. I think we're in a pretty good spot. Yeah. Let's see what happens. All right. Here we go. What is she doing? Zheng Jian. There's her army that appeared again. All right. She's standing right there. We're going to go take her out. I just didn't want to get ambushed. That's why I waited a turn. Definitely wouldn't have been worth it. All right. Wang Quang. Wang Quang. Um, who's way weaker than me. Their strength compared to yours is negligible. Um, has declared war on me. Okay. Fine with me. Yes, Sun Si Yan Shu. Okay. They declared war. They declared war. There we go. There's mine. Declared war. All right. We also got ambushes discovered. Yes, I'm aware. Uh, her army's got to be taking attrition, right? I mean, it's the winter. She's in my territory. I don't know. Character developments. Okay, we got a person of virtue. We probably want to hire them. Um, all right, we also got... Look at that, we're making 2,600 now. Sweet. We got Charm Maker's Workshop in Wudu. Um, awesome. That's this. That gives uh, 70 and 100... 70 commerce and 100 income. Look at that. 2,000 in this city alone. Also, yes, we did get... Oh, no, we didn't get the assignment here. I thought we did. Um, okay, and then we got Grain Farms in Anding, which is also awesome. Because now we got 10 food. Whew. Giving ourselves a little bit of a buffer food-wise, and we could up that another uh, another two. Um, Remain yeah, and the food grows here really quickly because we do have the uh, food uh, from farming bonus as well as income from peasantry. Ambushes we know. Okay, so let's take a look at Wudu really quickly. Uh, Wudu. I mean, we could do again. We could do the bonus, but this building is just so good. 720 gold to up my industry income by 50 and my commerce by 30. So that's 80 base income. So that pays itself off just base income in less than eight turns. Actually, seven turns, exactly. Um, and not to mention all the bonuses we get, plus 107% on commerce, plus 112% on industry. This pays itself off in like four turns, three, four turns. Um, that is super valuable. We will definitely keep upgrading that building. And if we can put... Oh, no. See, this is this is the great uh, assignment. But uh, but no, I want him in the army. Tanyu, before I forget... Tanyu, you're, you're joining this force. Recruit in. Uh, Tanyu. Oh, there's the new guy. Oh, the new guy, Z Dang, is actually the same as Tanyu. Um, he has the same units, but no, I want... Oh, he's actually... He, and he's level 4. Let's take a quick look at this guy. Um, what is his history? Uh, he was a Yellow Turban Rebellion guy. He's disloyal. Um, that's fine. We just won't make him an administrator or anything. Um... He's got military expert, stone rat, some and some some kind of just like bad things. Military expert's definitely the best thing he has. Um, I mean, first of all, we're definitely going to hire him. So let's uh, let's recruit him in. We need the people. Um, the question is now: Do I want to make him the general on this army? And I know that sounds like, you know, 
I do like sticking with my guys. I really do. But, he's already a higher level. He's got an active debuff, immobilized. And he's got commanding shout. Um, he's got opportunism, which is very good. But I'm probably not going to give him arrows. No, I mean, I just, I like Tan Yu. Uh, he's got the immobilized thing also, Tan Yu. Um, he's got this minus 20 for C. He might be just better maybe to use as like a uh, administrator with this local commandery bonus. Um, but he gets night battles. I don't know. Minus two satisfaction of the army. I, I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe I use Z Dang in my army and and continue using Tan Yu as I've been uh, as I've been using him. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean this guy's got melee damage for his own retinue, melee armor piercing replenishment for the own army. Yeah, Z Dang is getting the army. He's getting the army spot. All right, Z Dang. You are a very desirous higher court position now. You're going to be in an army, man. Um, confirm. Bada boom. Welcome to an army, Zidane. Um, how can we make you happier? I mean, you already got... This doesn't give you any happiness. Why don't we switch that out for something that gives you some satisfaction, huh? Uh, I mean, this is solid military requisition, and it gives turtle mobile infantry formation. I mean, I do like that for you as a general. Uh, we could give you a better weapon. Yeah, maybe like a plus nine resolve. I don't want to give you like the best weapon. We'll give you one of these. Armor can upgrade you. Horse can upgrade you. Okay. You can keep your stone rat too. That's fine. Or this might be actually be better. No, that's okay. Um, I just don't know, maybe you're just, a desire's higher core position, you're not gonna get it, man. Um, I just hope you're not, like, super happy and leave after I invest in you. Um, I mean, I could give him, I could give him a local leader. Because he's a general, so I'm not gonna be sending him on assignment. Give him a local leader and just, you know, that's his higher court position. I mean, that might not be the worst decision in the world. I just worry a little bit about this, the increase ambition to gain independence as an administrator, but he's he's not an administrator. His local leader is not an administrator. Let's just make him one of those. It'll make him happy. And we can give him, um, you know, like a maybe a province that has a lot of income, like Jingzhou or Hidong. Maybe we give him, like, Hidong. All right. And that makes him really happy all of a sudden. Yeah, now he's really happy. All right, he won't be leaving. That's fine. So we can now invest in him. Um, and let's recruit in some forces. So wait, his... Yeah, see, we got a lot of... We got four units of archers already. We got two units of cav. And he's got some good bonuses here for melee, infantry, armor piercing, and regular damage. Um, an additional 5% melee armor piercing damage and some ranged armor piercing damage. And his next few upgrades, like, we can give um, anything that goes straight towards, like, melee troops. No, there's actually a ranged one over here. Um, I think we I think we just need to give this. This could, that could be, like, our frontline unit. So what can we give him? Um, right, we have the ranged unit availability. Uh, we don't have outstanding troops. Um... Yeah, I mean, we, he does come with the two swords, which is nice. But we could give him, I mean, we could give him Guardians of the Land. Guardians of the Land are a much more, like, souped-up version. The thing is, the Yellow Turban Spearmen have the ranged block. Maybe we give him, like, two Yellow Turban Spearmen. Two Yellow Turban Spearmen and, like, two Guardians of the Land units. Yeah, I think we can do that. I think that that's that's you know I don't think we need any more archers in this army. I just I just don't. Like we already have uh, four units of archers. I think that's that's probably enough on the archers front. So let's 
give him two of those. And next turn, we'll give him the last Guardians of the Land. Um, actually, maybe we can make some money with a with a battle this turn, and then um, and then use that yeah use that money for a uh, use that money to to just round it out this turn, so we can get all the recruitment done at the same time. So let's go battle time. All right. Um, yeah, our force isn't huge, but uh, that's okay. We got uh, you know we got enough. We can put a little cavalry barrier on one side. I mean. Flaming oil, guard a flank, why not? Maybe just around the cavalry barrier. We're not going to really use it. Um, we don't have a ton of men. We have a lot of nice frontline infantry, um, including some spears. So what I don't want to do is I don't want to have my spears all on one flank and swords on the other. How Does she have a lot of cav? Uh, actually, she just has the one unit of cavalry. So that's actually fine. We can, we can go with that formation. So you guys, you can be our uh, frontline group. Archers here, positioned behind, on fire at will. General, I mean, this is General Zhu He, he can fight. Um, he can fight very well. Uh, inner, yeah, inner fire, uh, great weapon. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing a duel, but we are going to have to, like, you know, take out this, uh, their general, and he has a splash damage attack. Uh, her, you know, she is very good, their general, so, um, we're just going to have to... Yeah, we're going to have to make sure we take her out. They're probably not going to move, right? Alright, so we're going to have to advance on them. That's fine. Let's go group it up. Oh, shoot. No, I want to move in formation. There we go. And yeah, you don't need to run up. Let's just get you advancing. So if we took a look here at the duel... Yeah, she is very evenly matched... She has a heck of a uh, weapon. I'm not going to risk my general doing that. Um, but maybe this guy, I could get in a duel and knock out really quickly. That would be nice. She does have one ranged unit. Bandit Hunters. That's a really cool name for a ranged unit, i got to admit. Alright, Archers, why don't you advance forward very quickly now? My guys mostly have range block. Actually, they all have a pretty decent range block chance. So, uh, archers actually then, why don't you stay behind the front lines? And let's just, uh... What? Are they in range of my archers yet? No. So let's just get, a. Uh, let's just move forward a little bit further and, and make sure that they are in range of, uh, of my archers. Please and thank you. Treachery! Enemies. There's the guy. Yeah, he has Tenacity Steel. That's what I was worried about. I don't want to fight him if he has Tenacity Steel, because that's really good for duels. Alright, my archers are now firing. There we go. They're doing some nice... They'll be doing some nice damage. Why don't we just focus my archers on their bandit hunters? Um, and just try to take out their ranged attack and, and force them to come at me. There is nothing to be gained from this banter! All right, we're gonna unlock the group. Let's get my, I want my front line back into their own group, please. Now that we've moved, and my generals in their own group as well. My archers, how are you guys doing? Yeah, good, they're, I mean, they're behind a large, large wall of anti-cavalry defense, but we did get their bandit hunters the route, so why don't I just leave my guys on fire at will now? Um, and that is prompting them to advance on me, which is great, that's exactly what I wanted. Let's move our front line forward a little bit. Generals, let's go try to take out their lead general. She's charging at me. Sure thing. We'll send two swords units to come at, come at her as well. All these guys. We just need to take her out. My archers are still firing very well. You guys spread. You guys go engage. Then you all, let's advance in that direction. We'll just keep trying to take her out. You guys go hit them on the flank. And Spears, let's move you behind. Take heed, warriors. 
Yeah, there we go. Their units are starting to... Some of their units are starting to run already. She's losing a lot of health, um, which is perfect. These guys over here, a little bit more so. Oh, he's really low on health. Let's try to take him out. She's pretty low on health, too. All right, there we go. She's starting to run. Yeah, she's almost dead. We almost got her. Let's just knock her out. There we go. All right, generals group. Go help out them over there. The infantry over here, keep fighting. He's got to be almost done. Oh, wait, no, he has 20k. I thought he had, like, no health. All right, infantry, fight him. You all chase them down. Infantry, just turn and chase down these units. It's fine. My, my archers are still firing freely. Um, you guys, if, don't, if you can help it, maybe don't cross the cavalry threshold. Oh, she, okay. Decline now. Definitely not going to do that fight. Why don't you get back this way, guys? Let's go after him. My archers are just firing in at the units. I love it. Yeah, you guys just keep chasing them down. Make sure they don't come back. Go and knock out that bandit unit. Yeah, use use your specials. He shouldn't last too much longer. Yeah. All right, their cab is running. So we can get my infantry, go with their infantry. Generals, go with their generals. Yeah, this is uh, fair. It should be very straightforward from here on out. We just got a general's fight. Yeah, his tenacity of steel is uh, activated, I think, to level 3 now. Um, so he's doing a lot of damage. But, yeah, his health is going to be dropping quick. Yeah, 6.7k now. And now let's just swarm him, guys. Just swarm him. There we go. All right. Good job, man. Good job. Now, we're, I want to take him out before we declare peace. Or, playing victory, sorry. We'll take him out. My guy's got him. 1.4k health left. There we go. Boom. Alright. You guys... Yeah, that's Bandit Gang. Take them out. What's this? Just nine horses. Probably not going to really be able to catch anyone else. We'll, uh, we'll go around... Yeah, around the barriers there. He's not going to make it to him in time, though, I don't think. But those guys will. Those guys will die. Yeah, they're going to make it to the edge. The snow just slows movement speed too much. But it's okay. What about these guys? Maybe... Oh, our infantry's actually been catching up with them. Taking them out slowly but surely. What? There's only, like, three left. Yeah, we'll just end. We'll just claim the three. All right. End the battle. All right, let's see. All right, let's see if we uh, capture anyone. Zheng Jian herself this would be amazing. Um, oh, sweet. All right, twenty-eight oh five. Ancillaries gained. They don't really need the replenishment. Uh, we only really had one unit that took like significant damage, so we'll take the extra they money. Do their no, thing. no one captured. Uh, she's still running, actually. Um, we can. Uh, we can probably... Oh, we can't go right back at her this turn. That's too bad. Uh, we got an upgrade, though. Um, Zhuzhong upgraded. Okay. So he has basically all frontline infantry in his force. We can do food production for an administered commandery. You're not an administrator. Um, charge bonus. Morale in enemy territory when commanding. Royal deployment. Night battles. We can give him a passive buff for morale. We could give him a, the healing buff. Uh, satisfaction... Let's give integrity, because I think he's going to be in uh, his own local command. Like in This is like my defense force against the looters, so we're going to be in our own territory a lot. So we'll do that for the minus corruption in the local um, commandery. Which, yeah, it's corruption here in Amdings down to 13%, which is nice. And we'll um, upgrade the farm again. Yeah, too bad. We can't reach that in the same turn. That's too bad. Um, but what we can do is use the funds that we got from that fight... To recruit in our last Guardians of the Lands unit. And now we got a full force here mustering in. Um, that is a very going to be a very, very solid army. Very, very good army. Um, you, sirs, over here. Our supplies are brutally low. 
uh, hostile territory and climate have taken a huge turn. So I think it's time that with two siege towers, we probably go ahead and get this uh, get this assault going. All right, let's do it. So do we have any downed towers? Uh, we don't, doesn't look like. But we do have a huge gap of walls over on this side uh, with minimal towers. We got the, uh, just the, the, the gatehouse in that one. This, this tower all the way over here is way out of the way. So why don't we assault here? Um, okay, hold up a second. Get my whole army over here. So first of all, who do I want to actually give the uh, towers to? These guys don't have fire arrows yet, right? No, just these three still. So fire arrows are on. Yeah, we're going to immediately want to push in with these guys and knock out the towers. Um, who do I want to actually put on the uh, siege towers? Um, I'm thinking, do I have any sword units? Yeah, a yellow turban warriors. I think that's a great one. Siege tower. And... Yeah, see, swords are better up on the walls, but maybe then we'll just do yellow. We'll just do a yellow turban spear, and that's okay. All right, start the battle. Let's get my archers in range with the towers, please. Yeah, we're gonna be taking some heavy fire here. But I don't really know what else I can do. I need to get in range. Hit that arrow tower. Hit that gate. Whenever you're in range, just stop and fire. There we go. Yeah. Fire damage went up really quick, actually. That's really nice. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to climb really quick. Way quicker than I thought it would. Alright, towers. Oh, there's rocks back. Oh, shit. Shoot. Did not realize that. There were, uh, you can't go up to the, that's why there's no towers guarding back here. You can't actually assault those walls. How are we at? The one's about to be 100%. Okay, great. Why don't we focus on, uh... Yeah, you guys go ahead and hit those archers. You guys hit those archers. My other archers. Let's, let's get you up here, too. I always forget to move them. Bad habit of mine. You guys just go go up here, sit out of range. Same with you guys. Go join them. Go, go. Our men flee the battlefield. Ugh. All right, yeah, and cavalry. Yeah, you guys are definitely just going to be taking more damage than you're doing, but it's okay. There, their walls are really populated with men. Look at that. They're actually kind of cool. Got infantry and archers up there. Very cool setup. Now, is their gatehouse really not down yet? I mean, come on. Damage 91%. It's almost there. And I'm not in range of this guy, right? No, that just ends right there. Out of ammunition, really? Alright. Back out of there, then. Right, keep firing at those bandit hunters, then. You guys are back. Where are you guys? You guys are almost up to the front. Why don't you actually just position right here? Yeah, almost in position. Yeah, we just got. I just want to have a constant stream of shots coming in. And yeah, they can be on fire at will. Just fire at whoever the heck you want it. Yeah, go ahead and everyone just go join them. You're on. You all are on fire at will. Archers. Fire at whoever the heck you want to fire at. Yeah, I've got arrows flying around here now at the uh, towers. It's fine. Alright, all you archers, fire at will. Come on, there we go, there we go. Now we got some return fire coming. Just rain the arrows down on the defenders on the walls. Alright, infantry. Towers are almost at the walls. Let's quickly charge, get up to the towers. 
out of ammunition. All right, out of ammunition. Get out of there. Oh well, you're routing anyway. Okay, that works too. All right, let's go, men. Take the walls. All right, we are on the walls with two siege towers. Infantry is running up into position. There we go, guys. Fight for the walls. All right, archers, why don't you hold off for a second? You guys, you're out of ammo. You can get out of there. Generals, let's get you up here as well. All right. Yeah, we are... We are up here. That is for sure. Then we are up here and tight in a... In a fight, yeah, okay. That did not take long. Men, let us, let's get up there and go help them. This whole unit really fleed the battlefield? I mean, come on now. Alright, but we got all of our units now climbing the walls. Generals, why don't we, uh, you can dismount your horses. And let's get you up here on the walls as well. There we go. Generals join the ladders. Any second now we'll start climbing. There we go. One guy's climbing up. Alright, game's getting a little laggy here. I'm sorry about that, guys. A lot going on with the walls at once, but we got men just pouring over the siege showers into the fray. Ooh, yeah, it gets really laggy in there. They are holding the walls all they are worth, that is for sure. My generals have almost made it to the top. There they go. Generals are now in the fight. And let's let's get them into uh, in the position here. Oh yeah, it is uh it is mighty uh, mighty laggy up here on the walls, that's for sure. But yeah, we are just pouring look at this, just continuously pouring men into the walls, and, uh, yeah, it's doing a good job. We'll use our special here with the general. Boom. There we go. We're starting to get some of them running. Oof, my gosh. Look at this slog up here on the walls. Jeez. All right, let's get my archers position here. See if they can't fire into anyone up on the uh, up on the walls. Cavalry, why don't you move in a little closer? Yeah, we're gonna get the walls here in a second, probably. These bandit wars still just have men pouring in over the battlements. Alright, let's get let's start moving down off the walls now. Let's charge down and start taking out units on the ground. There we go. Yeah, we gotta move into the city proper. Whoa, is that an enemy? What the heck? Enemy bandit hunters, archers outside the city walls? Alright, let's just hit them with our guys. Alright, there we go. They're routing now. That was very weird. Alright, yeah, we got our army now. A lot of our men moving off the walls, which is perfect. Uh, these, let's get our generals. Go help out with these uh, bandit warriors over there. And you guys, back on fire at will. Fire at whoever the heck you want to. Yeah, they're getting some shots in, which is nice. All right, you guys, let's just line you. Get off the walls, please. The walls are too crowded. There we go. General's up in position to help fight. Bada boom! Oh, that took a huge chunk out of them. There we go. They're routing. All right. 
They're routing all men on the walls. Let's get you off the dang walls, please. Let's go. Off the walls. Go form up in the city. Yeah, they're all they're all gonna start coming out of these doors down here. All right, that wall fighting was a lot. Wow. You guys, why don't you actually? You guys can go position yourselves up here on the walls and fire into the city center. Actually, that would be nice. You guys, yeah, you're done. Get out of there. Cavalry, can we move you in? Yeah, cavalry can charge in as well. Look at this. It's all this, all this fire and everything is just... Ooh, who's fleeing? Really? What are all these guys moving backwards for? No, no, no. Everyone. Over here. Go. Get off, get off the dang walls and let's go. Come on, look at this. It's just a horde... So this is why it's lagging so much. I got like a thousand men just packed up here on the walls. This you, there we go. Alright, that should be it. Victory. Jeez, they tried to hold the walls and they did pretty good for a while, but uh... But no, it wasn't to be... We took it, we took it pretty well. Okay. So that city is ours. Didn't get too much money from it. But um... Yeah, we'll just occupy. It's a nice level 4 city, so we'll just occupy it. And, um, yeah, we're gonna need to definitely stay in... Yeah, we need to stay in the city to recover our supplies, but... That was, um... That's was Zheng Jian's, like, main province, I think. Okay, well, not her main province, but a, a significant city of hers. Um, as you can see, this is her territory over here. Um... She also has this settlement. Oh, let's get out of here. This settlement of uh, Tai Yuan, Yuan and uh, which has a toolmaker and another province. Yeah, see, that's not really worth it for me. Another, the other area is controlled by someone else. I think I might just, I might just take the fishing port and then make peace with her. But uh, we do want to take that fishing port first, uh, no doubt about that. Um, looking at diplomacy, yeah, we're in a good spot. This army, see, this army here could move to help with the looters briefly. Um, if I can secure peace on this border. Um, you guys will chase after her next turn. You guys need to stay in the south, in the city. Um, how is... What do we have here? So we got, uh, peasantry and commerce income. Um, first of all, yeah, we definitely want to repair the city proper, the city itself. We have a food production and an income from peasantry building. Uh, that's not bad. I mean, we got a fishing port here, too, so this could just be, like, a really heavy food production settlement. I, I really don't mind that. But then why do we have this? Then why do we have a building that's just base public uh, commerce and a little bit of public order? No, we're going to demolish that. And we're going to put a building here that actually adds to the food production. And this little two-province commandery um, is going to be like a food production powerhouse for us uh, if we can help it with the fishing ports and the city. Uh, this army, um, I don't want to move because it's getting its mustering bonus. Um, so we'll leave that. So my armies are in good positioning. I do have an additional local leaders spot, but I also have two more um, assignment spots that I want to use. And I think the assignments are, you know, probably more valuable. But let me let me see if I assign them. Yeah, see the local leader effects, fifteen percent income from all sources. I mean, the corruption's good. The construction cost saving is good, but I just think, um, I mean, the assignment bonuses here are really nice, like really really nice. Food production, faction wide, and food production and commandery. But this is the good one: the income from commerce and income from industry. Because we get a city like, uh, what is it? Is it this one? No, which one? Which city is it again? That does. Oh, it's down here, right? It's uh, Hedong. Uh, Hedong. That is just industry and commerce, and we can put that assignment in that settlement and really boost the industry and commerce income there. Like we're making a thousand six here. Let's see what we're making next turn. And then with her, we get the uh, Commerce, Silk, and Spice income. We also get the food, but we're already doing the food one with the other woman. Um, so why don't we do Stimulate Markets, uh, Commerce, Silk, and Spice. And uh, where do we currently have that? Jin Chang. We currently have that going in Jin Chang, which is a lot of, yeah, Commerce and Silk. Look at that. So much money. 
Um, that has 315 commerce, so Jing Zhao is a good, a good potential one. Um, commerce and silk there. Uh, we could do Hidong, which has some commerce. Uh, some good silk there. I mean, probably Jing, uh, Jing Zhao uh, is where you would want to do it. Um, <clears throat> which has, that's commerce. Oh, so we can actually add an additional bonus. Yeah, so this is making 918. All right, so we have Jing Zhao, which is making 918, and we have He Dong, which is making 1006. We'll see what those are making next turn with the um, with the assignments that are that are sent there, and let's go to that turn. All right, so let's see what happens here. Her army's trying to run. Makes sense. They're not gonna be able to get away from me though. They're so weak now. All right. We got a new guy we're at war with, who hasn't appeared yet. I don't know where he is. And, alright, Cao Cao requests to join the war. Peace treaty. Uh, Han Empire has a secession. Okay. Secession. Alright, we got some buildings. But first, let's look. So, Hidong was at 1,008. It's now at 1,225. That is huge. Um, 1,225 uh, based because of the uh, assignment. Um, which will last five turns, which is fine. We can we can deal with minus two the reserves for five turns. So that's almost over another two hundred. Jing Zhao was at nine eighteen. Whoa, Jing Zhao went from nine eighteen all the way up to uh, twelve twenty two. So that's yeah, huge finances. Um, oh, it's because we also got the leisure house uh, completed here, which gave more income from commerce as well. So that was a double whammy. Um, we had court uh, production courtyard in uh, Hanzhong which gave uh, another 100 income from industry, so we're making more money there. And we got the Anding communal grain farms for more food. And the demolition completes, right. So we demolished the drinking house. And I think, yeah, we could do... No, I want grain storage, which gives uh, income from peasantry and reserve capacity. No, which is the one that, uh, that ups food production? There's definitely one here. That's a Oh, I mean, it's farming. Okay, yeah. But isn't there one that gives a bonus to food production? Or am I just making that up? There's nothing here that gives a food production bonus, huh? No, there isn't. Hmm. Funny. I, I really I really could have sworn there was. That's too bad. Okay. Um, not the end of the world. So, it's kind of a little bit of a border town for me. I'm actually considering putting a garrison here. I really am, in, in, in addition to the main city garrison. I think let's go ahead and do that. I think the, it's okay, because I think this is a town... I would like to not have to like fully defend it on this border. Um, I think putting a garrison here on the border isn't a, isn't a terrible call. We could always, you know, remove that in the future. Um, I usually don't build garrisons, but I do think they, they can be worth it. Um, although I am just thinking, like, you know, grain storage for income from peasantry, I just don't think this is going to be a money-making city for me. I really thought there was going to be maybe something else I could... Oh, here it is. Okay, it's a couple levels up, which gives the bonus to food production. Yeah, okay, that's what I want. That I want that one that gives the bonus to food production. I knew it was there somewhere, I just couldn't find it. Um, and I know this video's been going a little long, but let's go and, um... Let's go and attack her. I want to just get this get this army done with. Get her out of here. All right. We can just start this battle. It shouldn't uh, shouldn't take too long. Let's just take our uh, take our army and advance them forward. Yeah, this one should be very quick. No, I would prefer to choose the duel myself. She's all the way back up to 30k health. How? That's ridiculous. No, we're not gonna... We're not gonna do that. Alright. Generals, I want the same strategy. I want you guys off on the side. Archers, why don't we... advance you forward so you can start firing. I, I love the Rome 1 animation where the units move to let men 
get through. It's kind of funny in these later games, that doesn't happen. Alright, so my archers will get in the position here and begin firing on their men. Which don't have a range block chance. That's fine with me. Go ahead, guys. Start firing. There we go. You must be tired by now. All right, units. I will not rise to petulant insults. Begin your advance, generals. No, I'm not gonna do a duel. All right, archers are firing very nicely. Yeah, keep the shots coming, guys. Why don't we move them a little bit closer? You will fall. I will not lose again. Oh. No, no, that won't do. Be quiet now. No. Where is this other general? I don't even see him. But yeah, my archers are getting nice shots in on them. Their archers are gonna rout any second now. And they're getting shots in on these bandit warriors that don't have any range block chance. Alright, there she comes. Oh, there's the other guy. He was just hidden. Yeah, we're just gonna have we're just gonna swarm her. It is pointless to keep trying. Other infantry units, go and guard my uh, archers from the cavs that are looping around. Look, the enemy run! You guys can sit on them. Alright, if they're not coming after my archers, we can move back. I guess just, yeah, just go hit her. Everybody on her. Let's go. Archers, I want you firing at that cav unit, please. It's shaken, and they don't have any range block chance, so let's see if we can't, uh, can't take them out. No, I don't want you. Why are you guys running in the fray? No more fight. Go hit him, come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. Before they, yeah, I don't want them to, uh... There we go. He's on a, he's in a rampage. There we go, they routed. Alright. Are you guys out of ammo? Why aren't you just stopping the fire? Oh, they're out of ammo. Alright, you guys can just get out of the fight. We don't need you anymore. Alright, well done, men. Yeah, he's gonna... He should fall. No, we're not, we're not dueling, man. No chance. We're just gonna completely swarm you. I'll put it on a fast forward. We're just gonna completely swarm him until he dies. Basically. Yeah. There he goes. He should route. There he goes. He routed. Victory, but we want to, uh... We want to take him down. Infantry, stop chasing him. And my generals, yeah, keep after him. Uh, yeah, he should be yeah, 4k. He's gonna die any second now. The enemy general there we go. All right. Let's see if this finally gets this army to completely disband. Come on. Tell Ooh. Whoa. Brutal animation. Let's see if they want to completely disband. No. 68 remaining. A lot of money, though. Ooh, we captured Zhang Jian. Oh, she won't join my faction? Oh, come on. I really, really wanted her in my faction. Dang. Um, that is, that is too, too bad. It's because she hates my guys, yeah. Um, we could take, if we execute her, we get that amazing weapon, so, uh, yep, you're done. You are dead. We'll ransom the rest. Alright, Lu Zhang took over. Nice. I'm just gonna keep chasing that army down. We got that amazing weapon, the Red Sisters. And yeah, they're, we're rivals with her, but that's fine. She's dead. Doesn't really matter. And, um... Oh! I want to take this fishing port, but... It's been a bit of a... We're already at like an hour and ten minutes on this episode, so I'm gonna end it there as much as it pains me. And this army, uh, is base is mostly mustered in as well. So, um, thank you everybody for watching. As always, you know, if you enjoyed, please leave a, a like, um... You know, on the video, if you made it this far through, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, wait a second, is there a... Is there a stance that gives me... Additional uh, unit replenishment? There is not. Okay, that's fine. Thank you, know, if, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you enjoyed. And, um, 
yeah, I, I'm really liking this campaign. So as always, I look forward to seeing everybody in the next episode. Have a good one.